We've had a disappointing defeat for the Robins this afternoon by two goals to one against Staley Bridge Celtic. We're talking to manager Phil Parkinson. Phil, after the defeat on Tuesday night, um, it's important to, to bounce back today and we didn't, didn't really do that right from the start. No, we didn't. I, um, I thought we, we played well in the opening 15 minutes, um, but after that I felt we were lacklustre. There's uh, going to be no excuses from myself. No, uh, no twisting of any kind of information. The top and bottom of it today, we didn't deserve to win, um, and we didn't do enough to get anything out of the game. Um, as I said, lacklustre was how I'd describe that performance. Easy to look at the game as uh, top against the team towards the bottom of the table, but Staley Bridge have had a, a very good uh, run in recent times, and and they're a difficult side to beat now with uh, with some good players. They are, and I always sort of look at. Um, teams and how they're doing and probably not a great time to play Staley Bridge I mean they beat Warrington they beat Workington and now they've beaten us so they've shown the they're capable of uh, winning games against the better teams in the league and they've got players who are certainly good enough and a management team who are very experienced so it's frustrating from our part but in the same breath and I've said it all the way through about this league anyone can beat anyone on the day and uh, I think we're sort of seeing that a little bit um, with regards to the last couple of games but I've I've sort of said all the way through as well um, it's it's a it's a very difficult it's a very difficult league to win and there were going to be up and downs and obviously we're having a bit of a blip at the moment and it's really important that we bounce back very quickly. There wasn't too much in the game early on. We were on top without really creating too many chances, but the the, the opening goal came from a, a, an individual error. And to be fair to uh, Wolfenden, and he's tucked it away well. He has. He never looked like he was going to miss it. He went straight through on goal. Um, again, it was a really poor piece of play, which I can't legislate for. I can't come up here and defend players and and this, that, and the other. At the, the end of the day, it was a poor piece of play that give Wolfden probably the easiest goal he's going to get this season. So when you come into Altrincham, you don't expect them gifts uh, we've sort of built ourselves and having a strong defence and a good attack and at the moment we're sort of leaking goals where we haven't been and, and not being as cutthroat in the attack where we have been so the things that we know we need to be doing better and like I say it might be a good time to get a bit of a kick up the backside and really kick on again because I can't remember the last time we lost to I think it was the Sills in FA Cup escapade that happened there and then going on onto a great run. So hopefully this is a bit of a kick up the backside. Maybe one or two of them already think they've done it when we've certainly given them no information to tell them that that's the case. We, we we just need to really regroup and have every faith in the players in that change room. I know they will. As I said, there was a lot of below par performances and I felt at Workington, even though, um, sorry, against Workington, even though we lost that game, I didn't think we performed as poorly as we did today. We were poor today all around the pitch. At the end, we've had a real go. And I've got to take a little bit in terms of uh, they got that second goal, but that's because we were trying to be positive and it did work out in terms of getting the goal in the end. But obviously with Conor Hampson going off, it, it, it hurt us and it left us exposed. But then we could have got another one where we've hit the post, so it could have gone the other way and it has for us this season. So I think um, we have to look at our own performances, our own decision making and sort of uh, rectify it. The good thing at the moment is the games are coming thick and fast now, so uh, we've still got that three-point cushion, but again, one defeat and that goes away. So we, we're very aware of uh, what we've got to do and we know how important it is to everyone at this football club that we do everything physically possible to stay at the top and go up, but at the end of the day, nobody's going to come here and roll over and give it us easy because it is their, their FA Cup final against... Uh, altering them when they come here so we know every game we've got to be at it and we can't be below par I've said to the players listen I don't know if anybody picked up with the support at the end were great they were, they were shouting at us getting their heads up and things like that it's ever so important for us now if, if people start turning on us it's, it's the beginning of the end I say to my players about sticking together and that kind of support we got there at the end I could see the fist pumping and come on lads we believe in you all that kind of stuff means so much because you can take something from that when you're getting obviously a few, a few negative comments which everybody has the, the right to do because when you lose you don't expect pats on the backs but we've done ever so well for this football club as a team and uh, the, the squad as a whole so I think that was that was really encouraging for me to see the fans being behind us like that at the end when they could have turned on us and they didn't they really showed that they want us to do well and they believe in us and hopefully we'll see a response from the players because of that. One of the uh, the frustrating elements, particularly in the first half, was we didn't really test the young keeper who was making his debut uh, in in any way, uh, really. And to be fair, Killock and um, Ashworth in front of him have defended well, but it was it was quite late in the game when we started asking a few questions. Yeah, they protected him well, and as I said, we're not firing on all cylinders, which amazes me when I say that because a week ago when we played Stourbridge, 
uh, not just my players, it was fans who have come up to me saying, heralding it as one of the best performances they've seen in 10 years. So I struggle to put my finger on how we can go from that to, to that today. Hey, listen, Workington, just going back to that one, was their, their goals were very good in terms of, yeah, we could have defended better, but today the goals weren't good. Um, they were really poor from our point of view, and we need to nullify that and, and, and make sure we're aware of what we're doing wrong and, and making them adjustments accordingly. But everyone's going to be needed. Obviously, we brought Chris Merry in. Um, he'll come into the squad on Tuesday, so obviously we left him out today to see how things work. I don't suppose he learned too much from today, but um, hopefully he'll be able to see that he's got an opportunity to come in at some point and uh, stake a claim. So, listen, the lads in there, they're really disappointed. We as a management team are really disappointed. You lose one game here, it's a travesty. You lose two, it feels like the end of the world. So we'll mourn a loss, we celebrate the victories and we'll, we'll lick our wounds and we'll come back fighting on Tuesday. Connor Hampson, Connor Hampson injured at the end. understand it's a, a medial knee injury, which should probably mean he's going to miss the next maybe two or three weeks. Yeah, it's really disappointing. I thought the referee missed that, like he missed a lot today. I was really disappointed with the referee today. Um, but again, I don't think that had an impact on the game as a whole with regards to the result, but I felt he he missed a lot of them little niggly challenges, a lot of time wasting going on, which can be resolved very easily by brandishing a yellow card and all of a sudden you'll notice players will hurry up with the getting the ball back on the pitch. So I was really disappointed with that. And again, it's cost us there because another late tackle on one of our players. And yeah, he's probably going to be out for three weeks now, which is a massive blow. But again, we've got Andy White who can play right or left back. So luckily, we've got that cover in place. As you mentioned, uh, the game's coming thick and fast. And when you do lose a game, the great thing for managers, players and supporters is you've got a quick chance to put it right. Absolutely. And hey, listen, we're at home. And if these fans get behind us like what they've shown today and, and other games, then we've got no excuses we just need to have a long hard look at ourselves we we've diagnosed things which isn't always great straight after a game because emotions are high but we've looked at what we can do better we'll obviously look at the footage today but for me it's just about desire and maybe one or two as I said or alluded to earlier maybe one or two think they've already done it and don't have to go them extra yards do the the, the hard bit of running that you have to do to win games Maybe one or two of them have had a bit of a wake-up call now because I certainly have. I'm very aware that it's it's game on, um, and we must we must bounce back Tuesday. We cannot. It's it's unheard of for a team in our position to go them three games on without a win. So we must bounce back. So Phil Parkinson there reflecting on the 2-1 defeat against uh, Staley Bridge Celtic. Chance for the Robins to uh, bounce back, as he says, on Tuesday night, 7:45 p.m. kickoff. Mickelover Sports, the opposition.